Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to import single pre-built website pages in Avada using the Avada Builder Library. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. I've imported the online school pre-built website here. And let's say I wanted to add an admissions page and that I've seen one on the university pre-built site that has the sort of content that I need. That's a scenario where it would be useful for me to be able to import just that page from the university site. Before you can import single pages from the Avada pre-built websites, you need to ensure you have registered Avada. For more information on registration, please view the How to Register Avada doc linked below. OK, I'm on the online school website here and I have created a new page called Admissions. Next, I will click on the Library tab in the toolbar to open the Avada Builder Library to the Websites tab. It's important to note what this method does and does not import. Basically, it imports the page content, including images and videos, etc., as well as the page template and any Avada page options. Because of this, it's also important to note that not all content will appear exactly as it does in the live pre-built website using this method, as it does not import global options or any connected content such as postcards, custom icon sets or sliders. If you prefer to import the full pre-built site, you can of course do this from Avada websites. Here you can import the entire site exactly as it looks online, but this is best done on a fresh install, as this method replaces your current global options and imports sliders, pages, posts and other settings. For more information on this, see our How to Choose and Import an Avada Pre-built Website video linked below. OK, let's head back to the Avada Builder Library. Here you can see all the pre-built sites on the right, and in the left-hand panel, they can be filtered by category. If you have a specific page you want to import, there is also a shortcut at the very top of the left-hand panel where you can paste the URL of the page in question to quickly filter to that specific page. I'll just filter to Education, and here I can see the Avada University site. When you select a website, you get a list of all the pages that can be imported. You can go back a step, or on to the next category along the top. There is a preview icon next to each page, which will open the specific page in a new tab, so you can check it again before importing. And as you mouse over the pages, an import button appears at the very right. If I click on the import button for the admissions page, a dialog pops up showing us the progress of the import. OK, so here's our content. Note how it's only the page content that's been imported. Our header and site styling has remained the same. Also, keep in mind that the site's current global options may affect the appearance of the page, or certain elements, as anything using the default global options will now be pulling them from this site's global options. In this case, the content looks pretty good. It's certainly going to be a lot quicker for me to customise this than if I had to build it all from scratch. If we just look at the page we imported on the university pre-built, we can see what it looks like there. Here there is a page title bar, but as that's coming from a layout, it didn't get imported. I can also see there are some icons here that are missing from the import because they were from a custom icon set, which also doesn't get imported. And the fonts, of course, are a bit different. But otherwise, it looks much the same and will only take a few minutes to customise. I will start that by adding a hero container that I have already saved in the library, which matches the styling of this site. I will just drag this to the top. I'll also go to the navigator and edit the icons here and change them out. OK, I've replaced the four missing icons, and I also noticed that the icons in the buttons were missing as well, again because they were from a custom icon set, so I've changed them out as well. There's also a section for a form here, and if I connect my enrolment form, and then reduce the opacity of the global background to minus 50 using the global colour options, it looks great. Under this is a testimonial section that has been imported, images and all, and here I could just customise this to suit. If there's anything you don't want, like this portfolio element at the bottom, you can of course just delete it. The main purpose behind importing a single page from a pre-built website is to give you quick access to a specific page's layout and design. This method is great if you want to use a specific page as a template for a new page, or also if you want to know how a particular section was built, as using this method will not affect your currently saved global options. You can also return to the library and import different page content as all existing page content is replaced when importing another page. Just remember that all images used on any page are going to be imported into your media library, 
so if you import a lot of pages, you'll have a bit of cleaning up to do. OK, let's save this and view it on the front end. Alright, so in only a few minutes I have a functional new admissions page. Fantastic. Now I just need to add it to the main menu. OK, that's the pre-built website single page importer in the Avada Builder library. Let us know in the comments whether you use this tool. Thanks for watching. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.